All right, hi everybody. We're working through the quadratic functions and equations uh, review here. This is question 20. It says solve the following problems indicating all equations. Complete the square to solve for the maximum minimum problems. Okay, so uh, basically we're just going to solve these word problems here. So the first one is a farmer has uh, 40 meters of fencing and he wishes to enclose a rectangular pen of maximum area, but one side of his pen will consist of a wall that is already in place. Okay, find the dimensions of the largest pen and maximum area. Okay. So to do this question here, and I'll, I'll zoom in on my, my work here a little bit more. To do this, the, basically the first thing we want to get here is an idea of what this thing looks like. So this will be x, this will be y, there's my other x here. So I know that 2x plus y has got to equal 40 for 40 meters of fencing. That's just a perimeter issue here. This is x, this is x because it's a rectangle, this is y, but I don't need to put fencing on this side. But the thing that I want to maximize here is area, okay? So area is equal to x times y. Now the reason I've moved it over a little bit here is because I need to get rid of one of these variables here. To complete the square, I need to, be, I need to have this expression in terms of just one variable. So I go back to my equation about, uh, uh, on perimeter here, and I'm going to solve for one of those variables. I'm going to solve for y. So y will equal negative 2x plus 40, okay? And when I plug that in, I'll get x times negative 2x plus 40. Multiply that through and I'll get negative 2x squared plus 40x. Whoops, sorry. And so there you go. Now, in order to find the maximum area, what I need to do is complete the square on this. So now normally what I would do with completing the square is I would take the constant term out here, move it out of the way, but there is no constant term. So now what I'll do here is I'll just take out the leading coefficient, that negative 2. So negative 2 times x squared. Now remember, I'm I have to divide the negative 2 out of the, the first two terms here, the quadratic term and the linear term, which means it's got to come out of the 40. So 40 divided by negative 2 would be negative 20 x. And now what I got to do is I got to figure out, I got to complete the square here, okay? I got to complete the square. So I remember that when I multiply two, uh, when I multiply uh, a binomial by itself, when I square a binomial, the middle term always has a factor of 2 in it. So if I take that 2 out, what I'm left with here is negative 10. And that's the number that I'm going to want to square and add it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add and subtract it right away so that the overall change to my equation is, in fact, 0. I will take the negative term out. So negative ter uh, 2 x squared minus 20 x plus 100. I will take the negative one out because when I, remember I'm trying to complete the square here and if I've got a, a perfect square trinomial that, that last term will always be positive. But to get the negative 100 out I have to multiply it by the leading coefficient of negative 2. So this will become plus 200. And then this factors down to get negative 2 times x minus 10 squared plus 200. Now, Remember that this, I'm going to come back here, this is a, 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 a. So my vertex here, although it's going to be the point positive 10, 200, the vertex has the coordinates x, comma, a. I'm not using the y coordinate anymore, I'm using, I'm using a here. So this is the, the, the value of x in the, in the expression here, in the equation. Okay, in my problem here, so x is the, the width of this thing. So if this, is, if this is 10 and this is 10, so together that's 20, just look at my formula here. Well, what does that mean? That means the y value here must be 20. So the width is 10, the length will be 20, and then when it asks for the maximum area, well, remember that the vertex here, the, this, this parabola opens down. I can tell because it's negative out front. It opens down. So this vertex is a maximum which means the 200 must be the maximum area. So 200, in this case, meters squared. So meters and meters. And there you go.